Okay, there's the green flag, there's the green light. We're rolling round for the first of our two preliminary laps, a sighting lap and a formation lap. That's the view from underneath the bridge, coming off the exit of turn two. Looking up to the right, there is the, this is the upper part of the bridge going over the circuit, the recent extension here at PF International. And you can see we do still have the overcast sky but it doesn't look like there's any threat of rain. And I have to say, from my perspective, it doesn't feel at all cold. Well, I'm completely neutral in my race call. Really, really am. A lot of these guys, I know, count them as my friends, but completely neutral. The one little thing I will say is uh, good luck to Thomas Prining, simply because today is his birthday, and a great 15th birthday present to himself would be a good drive in this final. Well, the field is rather stretched a little bit, so uh, hopefully Philip Rawson, and he is, so I was going to say, hopefully Philip Rawson will make his way to the front and jointly with Josh Price just keep the grid. Well, no, they've decided to kick on again a little bit. Just need to condense the whole grid, the 34 starters, to come in cleanly in good formation for a first timer. Not had that many first timers, I think, not kept count. But I think that less than half our racers across the entire program have got away at the first time of asking. Don't know why that should be. It's just what's happened here this weekend. Philip Rawson on pole position, joined by Josh Price on the front row. Guan Yu Zhou and David Wooder are row two. Sandy Mitchell, the newcomer. Matthias Christensen, row three. And a good start by Philip Rawson. Philip Rawson also matched in his start by Josh Price, but Josh having to give a little bit away to make sure he didn't get a rattled. Guan Yu, oh, and we've certainly had some heavy contact underneath the Litchfield Bridge. You see those skid marks just on your screen. Can't identify who the drivers are. Not everybody is out of the carts yet. But at the moment, Philip Rawson, who started off on pole position, holding uh, the lead over Guan Yu Zhou. Zhou putting a little bit of pressure on. Cart number 27 in third place is Josh Price. As we go into the long serpentine, the second of the link roads, the link straights, and Guan Yu Zhou immediately looking to put some pressure on Philip Rawson. I spoke to Guan Yu Zhou earlier in the week. I said, how do you find this track, Joe? How are things? And he said, it's fine, Ken. It's fine. I've raced here lots and lots of time. It's fine. Well, He's made a good start. He's in second place as we start lap two. And there's some mechanical flags going to be coming out. One of the drivers in trouble, cart number 39, Philipp Hamprecht of Germany. Way at the back, Philipp Hamprecht of Germany was one of the guys here on our screen as it was moments ago where those skid marks were. That was one of the uh, victims, if you like, of that coming together. Philipp Rawson, Guan Yu Zhou. And Josh Price are the one, two, and three. David Wood are fourth. Matthias Christensen, fifth. Janie Jar, sixth. Sandy Mitchell, seven. Connor Hall already up into eighth place. Connor Hall started in 15th place, is up to eighth place. Leonard Hoganboom, ninth. And Max Timmermans completing the top ten. Tommy Prining dropped out of the top ten to 11th. Lars Lambarell, who won the last chance race this morning, is running 16th at the moment. We lost Philip Hamprecht, Roka Bachuska, and Juan Manuel Correa on that shunt underneath the bridge. Well, 0.14 of a second in favour of Philip Rawson. Guan Yu Zhou staying with him. 
There's about seven, eight cart lengths between Joe and his. Ooh, I thought that was a move by Joe. Moving up into third place is David Wooder. David Wooder going past Josh Price. And Dave Wooder into third place early in lap three. Well, Guan Yu Zhou not in any kind of uh, challenging mode at the moment. I don't say he's too far away. He's just about a cart length, three quarters of a cart length away. But the body language tells you that Joe's not looking to try to dive into a lead at this stage. Fastest lap to Connor Hall, 58.58. And the guy who started down in, let me see, 15th place is up to 7th. In fact, make that 6. He's gone past Matthias Christensen. And do I see a black flag coming out? And Dennis Beckers is being DQ'd out of the race. Dennis Beckers is in 18th place in cart 47, but he's being disqualified. The black flag being made ready for Dennis Beckers to see. I didn't see the incident. Max Hoffer setting the fastest lap and is 30th in the race. 30th in the race, last of the runners, and he's just set a fastest lap. Can that really be the case? Well, Philip Rawson coming under pressure from Guan Yu Zhou. Those of you watching on screen, that's the one and two battle at the front. There you see them to the top left of your screen. Coming back down now. Still the advantage with Philip Rawson. Guan Yu Zhou taking close order in second place, as you can see. Then about uh, just under a second behind, there's David Wooder going under the bridge in third place in front of Josh Price. Connor Hall fifth now, Jamie Jar sixth, Matthias Christensen seventh, Sandy Mitchell eighth, Thomas Prining ninth, Jack Bartholomew tenth. And they're the top ten. We're on lap five. So one third race distance has been passed. Philip Rawson continues to hold the advantage over Guan Yu Zhou, but it's a narrow advantage. Dave Wooder got the biggest part of a second to make up to catch Guan Yu Zhou in second place. Connor Hall continuing to make forward progress still. Got his sights set now on Josh Price. This is the start of lap six. Philip Rawson's lead is 0.169, so it's been pretty much where it is now for, what, four of these five laps. There's really not been much in it. Well, Guan Yu Zhou getting a little bit closer now, perhaps. Guan Yu Zhou looks over his shoulder. That's often the prelude to an attempted pass. Well, that wasn't an attempted pass. It was a... Uh, Bit of incidental contact, wasn't it, Joe? And uh, Connor Hall has gone past Josh Price, as we called in anticipation. Philip Rawson leading Guan Yu Zhou in close order in second place. David Wood, I would say, getting a little bit closer. In fact, I look at my timing screen. David Wood clearly getting closer. He's in third place. Connor Hall fourth. Josh Price fifth. Coming round towards the half race distance, it's half race distance, six laps gone, six to go, six down, six remaining, and Philip Rawson continues to lead, Guan Yu Zhou continues to be closely second, but whereas these two were well clear of the rest, Dave Wooder has split them, David Wooder goes into second place, Guan Yu Zhou into first place, and Philip Rawson all of a sudden is relegated down into third place. So Guan Yu Zhou, the leader. David Wood is second. Philip Rawson, third. Philip looks over his shoulder. Well, it's Josh Price who's behind you, Philip, and not very far behind you either. Behind Josh Price, it's Janie Jar. Sandy Mitchell having this most impressive debut in the Rotax Euro Challenge. You're thrown in at the deep end when you come and race at this level. And these Scots are equal to it, it would seem. This is the start of lap eight. Guan Yu Zhou leads. David Wood is second. Dave Wood are taking closer order on Guan Yu Zhou. Coming through on third place, or trying to, was Philip Rawson. 
having to stay in third place for the time being. Guan Yu Zhou's looking over his shoulder, but there's still oh, Joe. There's a long way to go before you start concertinaing the guys up. This is a tactical race. You're entitled to run your own tactics, but we're not near the finish. We're on row eight, and you've given the lead back to Philip Rawson. To some degree, that was a self-inflicted wound. Have to say that uh, don't really see the point of that type of tactic. And Philip Rawson, who wasn't in a position to make a move, was pretty much presented with the opportunity to drive back in front, and he's taken it. Fastest lap by Connor Hall on that previous lap, 58.1. Connor Hall, I think, still in fifth place. Philip Rawson just pulling away a little bit. Connor Hall, sorry, I said Connor Hall in fifth place. Come up from fifth to second is what I wanted to say. Connor Hall now has got 0.4 of a second to try to reel in Philip Rawson. Connor Hall also has to hold off the attentions of Josh Price. And Josh Price bids to go second and goes second. So Josh Price into second place. Connor Hall third. And Philip Rawson, it's all immaterial to him. He just builds on his lead in the front. 22, Connor Hall emerges back into second place. But uh, Philip Rawson has been given an opportunity to extend his lead and he's taken that opportunity. Guan Yu Zhou down in uh, fourth with David Woodford. No, he's in third. Coming round to the three quarter race distance. So, nine laps gone, three to go. Nine down, three to go. Philip Rawson leads. Connor Hall second. Guan Yu Zhou third. David Woodford fourth. Josh Price fifth. Off the Litchfield Bridge, down the grade. We're still looking at the back markers going over the bridge. But these are the race leaders coming towards us. Philip Rawson coming under a little bit more pressure of Connor Hall. Hall not in a position to make a challenge just at this moment. Guan Yu Zhou in third place, possibly reflecting on the judgment call that he made a lap and a half ago. I don't feel that served him well, but uh, there we are. It's easy for me to be clever sitting up here watching the action. Joe's down there at the sharp end. Coming round to complete the 10th lap then. The race leaders set off on lap 11. Philip Rawson's advantage is 0.24 of a second. Connor Hall closing on him. Guan Yu Zhou still third. They're the guys in the podium position at the moment. And Connor Hall still, oh, they've gone out. Connor Hall and Philip Rawson have touched and they've gone out. Don't know, it wasn't, a f yeah, it was. That's David Wooden now leading. And it's all very tight with one and a half laps to go. David Wooder leads. Guan Yu Zhou is in second place. Josh Price is third. And at times this looks a bit like a Dodgems race. Certainly we're seeing a lot of contact. David Wooder kicking away from here. One and a third laps remaining in this junior final. And just as Philip Rawson was presented with a lead not so far back, David would have presented to some degree with a lead, although credit both of the lads for taking the opportunities when they came. We're coming round to see the last lap board or the one lap marker. One to go, one to go, one to go. David Wooder being pursued by Philip Rawson. Philip Rawson getting closer. Seven eighths of a lap to go to decide this final. And Philip Rawson has gone back into the lead. Looked as if we had a bit more contact. It's very much an incidental contact game, this one is. And Philip Rawson choosing to slow everybody down. And uh, Josh Price has taken a 360. And that's not only stopped him, but it's also taken Tommy Prining out of the top runners. Tommy Prining was running fourth. He's now relegated out of the top ten as a result of that move. Well, just a quarter of a lap remaining of an action-packed junior final. Not all of the action, what we would have wanted to see, but Philip Rawson doesn't mind that. On to the home straight for the 12th and final time. The race is won by Philip Rawson. In second place, Guan Yu Zhou. Third is Connor Hall. Fourth is Matthias Christensen. Fifth is Dave Wooder. Sixth, Jamie Jar. Seventh, Jack Bartholomew. Eighth, Sandy Mitchell. Ninth, Dennis Ties. And completing the top ten, 
Max Timmermans. Thomas Prining, who was running fourth at the time, goes 12th as a result of that spin by Josh Price. And Josh Price puts himself down to 15th in that particular unfortunate manoeuvre. Well, guys, come on. Let's not be unsporting. No unsporting move. Come on, guys. It was a feisty race. It was a feisty race, but we're not doing anything about it after the checkered flag, are we? Let's just keep our cool. Let's just keep our head. Well, we pause to take a breath, and when the RGMMC TV screen shows the result as it does bang on cue, it shows that Philip Rawson won that one by 0.76 of a second from Guan Yu Zhou second and Connor Hall third. Matthias Christensen, the Danish driver, was the only non-Brit in the top eight. Fifth place, David Wooder. Sixth place, Jay Nijar. Seventh place, Jack Bartholomew. Eighth place, Sandy Mitchell. And the second non-Brit is down in ninth place, Dennis Tice. And German driver, excuse me, Belgian driver, Max Timmermans, completing the top ten in tenth place. Ladies and gentlemen, would you believe me if I was to tell you that certain aspects of that race are under review? Lars Lamborel coming through in 18th place via the last chance race. Max Hofer just managing to get into the top 20. Good drive by Savannah Megan Courtney. She had to negotiate the last chance race this morning. Got herself just outside the top 20, finishing 21st. But she does get the bragging rights over Denise de Roy, who finished 22nd. So the girls, Savannah from Spain, 21. Denise from the Netherlands, 22. Well, we take a breath and we wait to see what happens a little later on. <laughs> 